let's talk now about this estimates evidence concerning the NDIS, your portfolio areas. Let's get on to that. Everything from heroin to cocaine being bought through the NDIS to $10,000 holidays. Shocking waste of taxpayer money. The government argues it's the appointment of their fraud guy, John Dardo, which has exposed all of this. And all of this used to happen under your government. What's your response to that? Well, I think it's pretty clear that we've seen fraud go through the roof under the administration of Bill Shorten and his hand-picked CEO. Um, you've got to remember, Andrew, we had estimates processes when we were in government. These sorts of cases weren't coming out then, and I doubt it's because the Labor Party wasn't trying to dig them up at the time. The reason why these are coming out now is clearly the problem's getting worse. In the last estimates period, Andrew, uh, it was revealed uh, that people were procuring prostitutes uh, under the NDIS, paying for prostitutes with NDIS money. We saw that uh, recently released criminals from of the most vile sexual offences were using the NDIS to try and procure but young they've female They've got a fraud task force the now. System. They've got a fraud task force you didn't have. The, no, 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 Andrew. Andrew, no. <laughs> they renamed the fraud task force that already existed. Bill Shorten's one thing that he's done, I'll give him credit, He's done one thing since he's been the minister. He changed the name of the Fraud Task Force to the Fusion Fraud Task Force. Congratulations. He rebranded it. He renamed it. The Fraud Task Force was already there and he was very embarrassed in Parliament last week when he was forced to correct the record in Parliament because he made the claim that we hadn't looked at fraud and then within about five minutes we were able to provide example after example of where we had. So he actually was forced to come back into the House and apologise for misleading the House. So uh, even within five minutes of making that claim, he had to backtrack. All, all he right. renamed the task. We're nearly the out of time. We're nearly out of time. Uh, sure. uh, you mentioned the $73,000 car in, in question time that was purchased under the NDIS. Do you think that's a particularly shocking case? Of course it is. I mean, it's, it's a remarkable case. Obviously, the NDIS funds things like modifications to vehicles, for people with disabilities to ensure that they can drive. And every Australian would absolutely support that. But uh, a new car, um, uh, prostitutes, cocaine, heroin, alcohol, uh, these sorts of things diminish the standing of the NDIS in the eyes right, of the Mr. public. Mr are very generous and supportive. Well, I've learned that car was purchased by a self-management participant when you were in office in 2021. In other words, that occurred while you were in office. So this goes to the government's argument, doesn't it? Their audits have picked up these sort of well, things. That, that, that Your was, government that, did it. That was pu well, that was public. I mean, the point... So that, that's not a point of contention. But the point here is that the ministers had two years to address these issues. So you've got to remember, we went to the election acknowledging that some of these issues existed. Bill Shorten said he was going to fix them. What's happened is they've got worse. And it's extended from cars now to prostitutes, cocaine, heroin and alcohol. So it's seemingly getting a lot worse. And Bill Shorten's been there and this government's been there for two years. What on earth have they done for two years? What on earth have they done? Bill Shorten put his hand-picked CEO into the role. He went to the election promising Australians uh, that the NDIS was safe in his hands. I think this week has proven once and for all that it's far from safe in his and this government's hands. And in fact, the NDIS... Uh, we'll need a coalition government to sort out so many of the problems that have been exacerbated uh, on the watch of this minister and government. Michael Suka, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thanks, Andrew.